Hello, hello, everybody. And I tell you what, as I go along this shrimp farm harvest stuff, I really am so grateful. I've been thinking, this is crazy how good I've been able to get these shrimp from my projects, taking them outside. And I am so, so very grateful for you guys. Without your support, everything I do, none of it would be possible. So, from the very bottom of my heart, I really, really, truly thank you guys for everything that I've been able to do. I have all these crazy ideas, and thanks to you guys, I have the time and the resources to accomplish some of these things I've been doing. So, with that out of the way, let's get back to the shrimp harvest. You can see here we've got oranges. That's the ones we're going to be pulling out today. Showing you guys some of the shrimp we've got. These oranges, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I need any more, but I got more to get out of the shrimp tub. These guys are amazing. The yellow 24K, this is a new line I got last year. I've been working on trying to make them a little bit better. It takes time, but these are pretty good when I got them. So I've been, they bred out really, really nice outside. Wow, another new line, the orange reallys. I have so many of these. I did a, I got the orange really tank so full that I couldn't possibly put any more in there. So I pulled out <laughs> probably like another thousand and put a hundred in a project tank. And then I put like seven or eight hundred of them in my Skittles tank just because I didn't really have a tank to put them in. And look at these blue jellies. Oh my goodness. So this is the orange Neocardina shrimp pond. And you can tell this one stayed pretty green. But the good thing was this had zero hair algae. And with zero hair algae, that means we've got a bunch of super awesome 100% clean moss to harvest. So we're going to put those the moss in a bucket and you can't really see the bottom that gets you just kind of fill around in this one and look what we found a great big, huge tail of moss full of beautiful orange shrimp i go through this and pick out the moss trying to make sure we don't get any shrimp and making sure there's no algae look at all that moss we pulled out of there not a single strand of hair algae. But if you look, a couple orange shrimp. <laughs> All right. Now we got everything cleared out. Let's start doing our blind scoops to see how many we get. Eh, few in there. Now I've already gone through this and got over a thousand shrimp out of this tub. So this is the trying to get most of them out. The ones that we can get out. And then I'll do a final clean out on each tub at the, here in the next two or three weeks. And where we will drain the water all the way down. And I'll do my very, very best to get every single shrimp out. And here's the sorting container. These are oranges. Man, this is from a project I've been working on for a long time. Trying to get my oranges better and better. Put them outside. And they all almost bred out perfect. I mean, hardly a shrimp to call. It was pretty amazing. Oranges was always a line I wasn't super happy with. But I put in a lot of time and effort. Making them better and better. And I'm pretty, I'm super happy with them right now. They are looking good. Here's another batch. This was a bunch of them in this batch. They're all almost perfect. Beautiful orange shrimp. And now it's time to put the moss in the moss pond. Look at that. Look at how green and perfect that moss is growing outside in the sun. It is beautiful. Just heaps and heaps of moss. This is my moss pond. So whenever I have excess moss from whatever tank or project, I put it in here, 
and it grows nice and good. I've been fertilizing this so the moss grows even better. And some of you guys who've been watching for a while might remember my plan. Look at the moss growing up out of the water. And since I started fertilizing, the little green cryptwind dead eyes have started growing immersed as well. So that is pretty sweet. <laughs> and here we are. The 40-gallon orange tank. Acclimating the shrimp we caught. Now we just got to wait. And we will be dumping them in. But with the... For you guys, it'll be instantly right now. All right, here we go. Let's let these orange ones go. We got already too many orange shrimp. Let's add more to too many. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We still got a few sticks. I think we got them all. I still see a few orange in there. That guy got on the wrong side of the net. I don't know how he done that. All right. There we go. Now that there's a lot of super awesome orange shrimp. Wow. So many. Looking so good. And for some of you guys have been following along, I'll close out here. This is the green jade on the new rack of 40s. They all have shrimp in them now. Look at these green jades. This is the best I've ever, I've ever had them. Not even close. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. And then these Bloody Marys, same thing goes with them. Simply amazing. They've been good, but they've not all been this good. These are all high grades. Super high grade. Really good shrimp. And then this weekend, I didn't make a video about it because I knew it didn't do that good. But I think I at least got as many snowballs out as I put in. So that was one of the ones where something went wrong. There's about three of them that didn't do super awesome. There's only one that did terrible. And I'll say this one did bad. So out of ten... We've got one that did horrible, and we've got a couple that did eh, so-so, and the rest did pretty good, and a couple did amazing, so we've got them all going. These Bloody Marys, though. Wowie, wowie. So good. Even the little ones. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.